Hello, I'm Jonathan here at Martin Lynch and Sons and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend video. Uh, and uh, this weekend, um, we're going to have a look at Messi on Polony Coax. Uh, we've been doing Messi Polony Coax now for a number of years and we're always asked questions uh, about it. So we're going to have a quick look at uh, uh, the vast majority of the range. There are a couple of uh, Coax options that we haven't got uh, with us today, but uh, are on the website. So we're going to have a quick look at um, all of the different Coaxes or most of the coaxes that Messi and Poloni do. Uh, we're going to start with their Hyperflex 5, uh, which is uh, a 5.4 millimeter uh, coax, uh, very similar in diameter to the RG58 you're probably very familiar with. Uh, this is, it's very flexible, hence the name, that's uh, why it gets its name. Obviously, Hyperflex, Hyperflexible. Great for uh, portable operations if you want uh, a length of coax to roll up and put in your bag. Uh, Hyperflex 5 is, is definitely a good option. Very similar if you also, if you wanted to take a bit more lightweight, it's um, a solid, um, solid copper construction. If you want to take a bit more lightweight, and um, we don't have it out on the, uh, with us today, but the Airborne 5 is also another good option uh, if you are after something nice and uh, portable. So that's the Hyperflex 5, uh, available from stock. I uh, say so similar size, in fact, she uses all the same plugs as RG58. So that's Hyperflex 5. Um, we'll move on, uh, we'll go up in diameter to the Ultraflex 7, uh, which is my choice of coax for, for HF at home. It's uh, 7.3 millimeters in diameter. It's got uh, a, a multi-core uh, center conductor. You may or may not see that on the camera. Uh, and then it's got, uh, like all of the Messi and Poloni coaxes, it's double screen. So you've got a foil as well as the braid and the braid is, is a very tight uh, weave. So you're not losing much out the sides. I say absolutely perfect for HF. Um, you could use it on two meters. Uh, and uh, 70 70 if you wanted to over a short run. However, if you're looking at more of a permanent installation and longer run on a VHF, UHF, then you probably want to start to consider uh, the Hyperflex, sorry, the Ultraflex 10. We'll come to Hyperflex 10 in just a moment. So Ultraflex 10, still quite nice and flexible. Uh, that's why it gets its name. Uh, it's, I think it's seven strands on the uh, center conductor. Again, the same as the Ultraflex 7. Uh, it's uh, double screen, so you've got the foil and you've got the braid. Uh, it's a nice, easy coax to work with. In fact, I've just used some Ultraflex 10 on my own V2000 installation uh, and uh, putting the connectors on nice and easy. In fact, mentioning connectors, I'll come to connectors in a minute, but there is a video that Steve did that you can find linked in our email mail out. But uh, yeah, nice and flexible as you can see. It curls up about that size and uh, a really nice and easy cable to work with. Uh, finally, uh, on the table is in terms of coax, we've got the Hyperflex 10, uh, which is 15 strands on the uh, center conductor. So it's even more flexible than the Ultraflex 10. So you can see I'm getting a nice tight turn on that, not affecting the coax, not damaging the coax in any way. So if you needed to really coil up a 10 mil coax, nice and tightly, you can do so with Hyperflex. Absolutely perfect for VHF, UHF applications and going around rotators. Uh, it, it's a superb coax to work with. I will mention them, but we haven't got them out. Uh, the uh, 13 series, so it's both the Ultraflex 13 and the Hyperflex 13, uh, both available. Again, if you're gonna go up into sort of the gigahertz range, up into 23 SEMs, you probably want to consider one of those two options. So don't forget, if you're ordering coax uh, over 100 meters in length, uh, we do do it on the drum and you do get yourself a 10% discount. Uh, it's worth noting, most of the cable does come on 100 meter drums, except for the Ultraflex 7, which is available both as a 100 meter reel and a 200 meter drum. Uh, so say so if you maybe if you don't need that much, maybe if you've got a few friends, you can all club together uh, and get yourself a, a whole drum. You're gonna save yourself some money. Uh, also in the coax range, uh, Messi and Plony have started doing uh, they call them jumpers, we call them patch cables. Um, they are available in a few lengths. The shortest is a half meter length. They're either made out of Ultraflex 7 or Ultraflex 10. Uh, this one is made out of Ultraflex 10. And you can see it's PL259 each end. I say they come in three different lengths, either half a meter, one meter, or a 10 meter uh, cable. These are the Ultraflex 10 cables with uh, uh, with 10 meter length on them. I say nice and easy. If you don't want to put the connectors on yourself, if uh, if you're not that um, confident with the soldering iron, uh, then this is a, a good option for you. So PL259 each end, 
good for all of your interconnectings. And mentioning connectors, I've just picked some of the connectors up because they are really easy to, to fit. Steve did a video on, on how to fit the uh, connectors, but um, they're really not very hard. These are some end types, uh, but uh, we have um, most of the connectors in stock now. So for all of the kayaks, uh, sizes, whether that be BNC, uh, SMA even, uh, PL259, and of course, N-Type as well. So, so uh, click through to Steve's video about how to fit the connectors, the nice video that he did uh, fitting both uh, PL259 and N-Type. Um, also available, we have the 50 meter length of the Dipo Flex. Uh, this is a really, really lovely uh, wire if you're gonna be making wire antennas. Um, we've specifically catered for 50 meters in a, in a drum to go along with our 49 to one transformer, because what you can do is you can take 10 meters off that, put that to one side or, or use it to tune uh, with a 49 to one. And that'll get you working on uh, pretty much every HF band from 80 meters upwards. The guide length is 38.9 meters. Uh, so you can cut yourself about 10 meters off that and off you go and you'll be easily on the air on 80 meters 40 20 15 and 10 and with aid of a tuner you'll also get on 17 and 12 meters too and possibly even 60 meters you might never know uh, finally i want to mention the uh, scissors that mess and plenty do uh, which are a really lovely construction uh, they've got a nice action to them. if i just grab up uh, that bit of ultraflex 7 i'll um, just do a live demonstration of how easy it is just to cut through the coax um, you can either apply a small bit of pressure go around and you can um, easily get the uh, the sort of outer on the, uh, the just the pvc coating there you go you can easily see the braid so cutting through just the braid or if you want to cut through the whole cable very easy it cuts through it nice and simply so really handy for all of your installations again steve's video shows you more on uh, those right that's i think about it for all of the options for mess and plenty so there's far more on the website online at hamradio.co.uk uh, and uh, as i say we've uh, we're sort of thinking this weekend is possibly you're getting all your cables ready for vhf field day next weekend so if you're uh, going in um, if you're putting a station together for vhf field day uh, next weekend good luck with that and never know you might catch me on the bands we'll see you soon bye bye